Welcome to this installment of our FinOps 101 course. In this video, we're going to talk about the foundations of FinOps. What is FinOps? So FinOps is a portmanteau of, of finance and DevOps. In the past, it was known as financial operations and some other terms, but over the last 18 months or so, it's, it's become known as uh, the, that portmanteau of, of finance and DevOps. Uh, so it's an approach and a cultural practice within a company that's focused on cloud financial management, cloud cost management. Um, it looks to maximize your business value uh, and align IT, finance, and business uh, within the cloud. FinOps is not just cost savings. It's not just finding wastage in the cloud. A, a large part of FinOps is going to be your collaboration and accountability. It is bringing together disparate organizations within a company. It's bringing together teams that don't traditionally work together and getting them all on the same page and speaking the same language around what are costs within the cloud. Many companies have traditional IT, uh, ITAM, HAM, SAM, and other businesses, business units which exist within procurement and maybe a TBM, and they're very good at focusing on physical hardware. But cloud is new for a lot of companies, and that same model doesn't exist. That's what FinOps is trying to create. That's that's a big part of its function, is, is creating that accountability and visibility in the cloud spend and allowing organizations to make informed business decisions based on uh, what they're doing in the cloud. So FinOps as an organization is meant to help guide companies through their decision-making uh, processes. And this is, is based on the value of cloud resources, cloud services, but that also has to encompass what's happening within a physical IT or a, uh, a data center aspect as well. If you're a company that is in a data center, uh, FinOps just can't operate in, within a silo the same as procurement and ITAM can't operate within a silo when it comes to uh, making decisions based off what's happening in the cloud. Uh, these organizations all need to work together. FinOps enables that. That's, that's a, a, a big uh, core uh, value of a FinOps organization. Now, Similar as you would have with, with ITAM and procurement, FinOps is beholden to a project management term called the Iron Triangle. As you look to increase things like cost, speed, and quality within FinOps, you have trade-offs amongst those. And the, 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 these three components of this Iron Triangle um, mean that as you start focusing on one, you have to give up on one of the other two or maybe a combination of the other two. So things like cost, you're going to, if you want to increase your savings and efficiency, you might have to, you know, um, you might have to start limiting resources or reduce your flexibility. If you want to be more agile and innovative, you might increase your risk or have higher costs when it comes to focusing on those areas. But as a company, you have to decide what's important, which one of those three is important for you uh, and which trade-offs make sense and which, which you're willing to take on. Um, you know, these 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 all play together, uh, not just within FinOps and cloud, but with with other parts of the business as well. Uh, and the final part of, of FinOps that we'll talk about throughout this lightning course, and you'll hear often, are the phases of FinOps. This is crawl, walk, and run. This is a common FinOps term, uh, and it's just the maturity in which an organization is not just for FinOps as a whole, but for different aspects of FinOps. A company might be in the crawl phase of let's say, uh, cost allocation and tagging and things like that, but they might actually be in the run phase when it comes to cost avoidance for things like RIs and savings plans and, and, and whatnot. They may be very good. Run, run would mean they're very good at it. They're, they're using, um, you know, they're making major business decisions based off of it. They have maybe automation in place. They have uh, a full process around it that is, that is vetted and works, whereas crawl is they're just starting to do that. Um, and it's okay to be in different phases within different areas of FinOps and different areas within the business. FinOps is modular. It's meant to accommodate all of that and, and, and help work through it. There are very few companies that are fully run across all of FinOps and all of cloud, but it is something that companies should strive for. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us at anglepoint.com.